my favorite American cars, but it doesn't have American racing history. It is a Ford GT. Now, can you tell me about the Le Mans history of the Ford GT? Well, if you've seen the movie, you know, uh, Ford first won Le Mans in 1966. They won four years consecutively up to 69 and the car never raced again. Ford wanted to continue that tradition on the 50 year anniversary and they developed this new GT specifically to race at Le Mans. And they won in 2016, 50 years later to the day, they accomplished the feat. So uh, pretty good story, continuation of the history. And uh, we ended up with this beautiful machine. And your car has something special. Can we take a look at it? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, the people who made this car uh, important and made it successful, I have some nice autographs. Uh, most proudly, the three drivers at one Le Mans have signed this car. Uh, Raj Nair, who was the head of the Ford program that made this car happen. Edsel Ford, uh, Chip Ganassi, who runs the racing team. Larry Holt, the uh, mastermind at Multimatic. Billy Johnson, uh, one of the test drivers and race drivers. And then Garen, who was one of the chief designers. So it's got some pretty good personal touches that mean a lot to me. And you've been to Le Mans, haven't you? Yeah, I was actually there in 2016 with the Ford Group in the suite when they won, and that was pretty epic in itself. So what possessed you to buy this car? So as a child, I had uh, GT40 slot cars. Yeah. And as I got older, you know, the new, the 0506 GT came out. I had some success in my life and I purchased one of those. And I really got entrenched in the Ford culture and the, and the members and the people that, uh, a part of that Ford family uh, made me feel special. And of course, I wanted to continue that when I was offered to get the new car. I love that. I love that. Thank you for sharing this with yeah, us. My pleasure. generation of car enthusiasts born from one movie franchise and if you're looking at the Toyota Supra next to me you already know what it is fast and furious now this Supra wasn't one of the originals but we did see the Supras GTRs JDM cars throughout the entire franchise into supercars in the newer years and we're excited to celebrate the emergence of yet another fast and furious movie fast and furious X or 10 is supposed to be coming out here in the next few weeks and we are celebrating it full force today with the JDM scene here at Supercar Saturday. is a car that is near and dear to my heart. It is one of the most fun that you can drive legally on the road here in the US. This behind me is a Lotus Elise. So this has a Toyota 2ZZ platform, which is great because it means that you can drive the heck out of this car and never be worried about its reliability or the cost of parts. They're incredibly light and they don't have power steering or ABS, a lot of those features that nanny other cars. The cars are so incredibly nice. It feels like you're going mock Jesus when you're in traffic. And they are just so special to have out here on the road, especially for the seventh anniversary of Supercar Saturday.